Hello, and welcome back to my complete playthrough of Ultima 4 Quests of the Avatar. We're right here where we left off in the uh, Bay of Heroes, or the Cape of Heroes. We just got the wheel for our ship, which I'm, I'm currently standing on. Uh, so we are there the sh by the ship. Um, we've rested. Uh, almost everybody's totally healed up. Uh, Shamino is the only one that's got a little bit more to go. Um, uh, but let's... Uh, I got a couple things I want to do before we get on the ship, but let's talk about what our plan for today is. And let's turn to the map. So we are here at the Cape of Heroes. And what we're going to do is we're going to sail around here and go to Yalom, where we've got the Shrine of Valor. Uh, we're going to work on getting our last, um, our last bit of, of, of Avatar Hood back. And then we're going to visit the town of Yalom. And we might take this moon gate that's here and because it will take us to moon glow. There's th we need some reagents out of moon glow. Uh, and also we need to hit to the Lyceum anyway. Uh, and then my plans after that, and I'm not sure we're going to get through all of this in this episode, but I do have the next, next bit of time mapped out in my brain. Uh, once we get done with moon glow, then we're going to take our ship again back up here to Scar Bray because this is one of the well the cheapest place for food and we can get some reagents here I think um, that are you know, some of the reagents are cheaper in some places than others uh, so I think between Moon Glow and Scar Bray we'll be able to pretty much stock up on, on everything and then we'll see where we go from there oh well actually where we're going to go from there is we're going to come up here and we're going to hit the Abbey and, and go back to that and find out about the cities because I think the Abbey is the place I actually meant to put the word of passage here and get rid of this page. I haven't done that yet. No, it's a Lyceum we haven't been, but we need to ask Lord Robert about the cities. That's what we need to do. That's what we need to do. Yeah, I need to I need to put this stuff in this and then this can go away. So I need to that's something I need to do off cam. I won't I won't bore you with that now. <laughs> but let's go back. Now one thing I think I want to do here is um Jana needs XP, and I want to un, unburden Shamino from the bow because we're going to get bows. That's actually what's probably be next after whenever we get done with everything I just laid out is to go back to Buccaneer's Den and look about getting some more of the magic bows for at least for everybody that can use a bow. And uh, but for now, I, what I think I want to do, because Shamino can cast fireballs as well as I. Um, so it doesn't make sense. He would have two ranged options there where most everybody's melee. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to swap Janna's and, and Shamino's weapons. So then Janna can be in the back still because she's so squishy, but she can get some XP by, by using the bow. That's the plan. So let's see. So we're going to ready a weapon. We're going to say Shamino right now, you're going to use hands. And now we're going to ready a weapon for Janna. And you're going to get the plus one bow. And then we're going to ready a weapon for Shamino. And we should have the Mystic Sword. And we do. So there we go. That We got that accomplished. Not that that was super duper difficult. But I wanted to remember to do that before we really got rolling. So let's board our ship. Let's use... Because you'll notice our ship health is 50. So apparently every time we get on the ship, we got to say to use the wheel so we get the increased armor on our ship. Okay. There was that power that we fought. Uh, what do I got to do? I can't get through there. That's shallow. So I got to go around this island. Lots of orcs want to kill us, but sucks to be them. Can I get, I think there's a passage there I can get through. Yes, there is. All right, come on over. So let's see, so Yalom is basically at N, C and N, and I'm at O and F. So I need to go north a little bit and I still need to go further west. Okay, so I'm still way, I'm right about where I want to be north-south. I just need to go west. All right, heading west, slowly, because I need to be about C, maybe D. Uh, 
Oh, another ship that I just left out in the middle of the bay. Huh? Oh, I got a ship there too. Holy hell. All right. So we've arrived. The first thing we're going to do before we do anything else is we're going to do the first um, round of meditations here for Valor. All right. And get the mantra in our brain. It's Ra. Okay. So we're going to disembark. We're going to board. We're going to board. We're going to enter. And we want to, we want to meditate on Valor. Okay, for one cycle. R.A. We are granted a vision, victory, scored over evil creatures to help build a valorous soul. We knew that. Okay. All right. I got so many ships in this area. Oh, no, that's a pirate ship. Let's use the wheel. Not the Wii. <gasps> oh. Oh. Look, I still have it. All right, well. It's kind of hilarious that we're fighting each other across the spit of land. It's actually he he got first shot, but that was actually what I was what I was going to do. So that was cool. We lost twenty uh, ships health. Uh, does it regenerate? It doesn't look like it does, or if it is, it's going really slow. I could get out right here, but I'm kind of curious. Let's give it some time. This must be there must be some pirates in this. A lot of pirates in this area. Oh, liches! I don't really want to fight you. The my the, well no, that's what I want to do. Oops. I wonder if they can come out on the water. Apparently not. These guys are pretty tough. Maybe can't maybe they aren't affected by cannon fire. Oh, there's only one of them. All right. Let's see. Iolo. Is that Yeah, China. Perfect. Heavily wounded. I'm not gonna waste a fireball on his butt. Maybe we'll just let Jana get the XP. Because he only needs like 25. All right. Let's exit our boat. Get 14 gold. Good. All right. Let's um, enter the town. I don't really remember what's here. I don't know if they have any good weapons. I thought I'd look and see what's, what's the what there. So we have healing. Um... Here we have armor and weapons. We have mystic robes. I'm not too worried about. Uh, we want to. I don't. Think, we don't have anything to sell. Let's buy. What do we got here? Okay, just normal stuff. We have to go back to um, uh, Buccaneer's Den to get to the magic arrow, uh, magic bows. So we're gonna have to get to that place sooner or later. Maybe when we're done with Empath Abbey. We get through all the stuff I talked about, and then maybe we'll scoot over to Buccaneer's Den, and then we can move on from there. All right, so that's what I just wanted to check. All right, let's go. Is there anything else of interest here? I don't think so. What do we got here? An inn, a pub. I don't think there's anything particular that I want to know. Here, so I just was mainly interested in what they might sell for weapons. But I think probably enough time has passed. We're just going to take this ship across. And let's um, enter Valor for two cycles.
give our mantra of Ra. Okay, thy thoughts are pure, thou are granted a vision. To flee from battle with less than grievous wounds often shows a coward. Yeah, and we got dinged when we, I mean, we were poisoned and dying, and we still got dinged for that, which isn't right. <laughs> it's not right, I say. Uh, let's see if we can get Shamino up to full health. Okay, good. There isn't anything else on this island that we care about, is there? I don't want to walk out on the death. Doesn't look like it. Does not look like it. All right, let's see if enough time has passed. Or I don't think it's time, I think it's number of moves. I've never looked it up to find out for sure. Three cycles. We're still weary. Bloody hell. Um, let's enter town. Um, what else is here? Anything of interest? The inn, the pub. Anybody interesting here? Are you killing me here? Lady Donna, job, sheep. <laughs> I can't stand sheep. <laughs> That's hilarious. What's your job, Gravnor? You sound like you ought to be uh, fighting for or against. Um... Oh, what's that guy? I don't know. It's not something I watch a lot. Some sort of superhero thing. I search the dungeons. Dungeons? I seek the red stone. Holy hell. <laughs> Do we have any information about the red stone? Yes. That's the color of... of It's, it's associated with... It's from the starred. It's from the... Associated with the... Um, Courage. So we should be to start as the dungeon that's the opposite of. Uh, and we have a note here that it might be the third part of the key. So, so yeah, okay. That was, I thought I got all excited for half a second there thinking, because I know there's still something we don't know. I don't think we've totally figured out where the black and the white stones are from because I have question marks on them. I think I, I've attributed the white right now to spirituality and the black to honesty but I, I i'm not certain of that it is found on an altar okay mm, i don't think so no it is in the dungeon that's hard this is probably the guy we got the information from okay well that was interesting and now with this we probably have we can go back and finish up and get the last of our avatar hood again so let us uh, exit the ship if I can remember my commands valor nope helps if you spell it nicely for three cycles yes we're getting through this quicker than I really thought we would but that's okay that's okay. That means we can uh, take the Moon Gate and head over to Verity Isle and go to Moon Glow and go to the Lyceum. And, you know, we're ticking things off the list of things we need to get done before we can go to the Abyss. And I'm trying to fast track some of this stuff as opposed to me, my normal bumbling progress to get the stuff we need to get.
All right, we've achieved Avatar Hood. Okay, and we're granted a vision for Valor, which is the same vision we had last time. So uh, not surprising. All right. Perfect. We were successful. So let us, uh, let's see. So the Moon Gate, of course, just, just departed. Um, we need to look at some things. So let's take a peek at the, let's take a peek at the notes. And let's look at reagent prices. So Moon Glow, Sulfurish Ash is really cheap. Ginseng is a little expensive, but not too bad. Um, I mean, really, we ought to get over to Paws. Um, because with the exception of Sulfurous Ash and Scar Bray, I don't know what the prices are for Spider Silk and Blood Moss. And maybe they don't sell it, or maybe I just didn't write it down. So I need to look at that. But I'm guessing Spider Silk's pretty cheap. Uh, so we might get, we'll probably like buy um, Sulfurous Ash there in, in Scar Bray. Uh, in Moon Glow, because it's the same price as Scar Bray. We'll probably buy Spider Silk. It could be cheaper here, but not by a lot. And um, we might get Blood Moss. I'm not quite sure. Let's see, let's actually do that next. Let's look and see what we need um, as far as reagents. So going back to the game, and let's do a... Oops, I messed that up. So let's see what we need for reagents. Okay, so let's see. We're actually doing okay on Sulfur's Ash. Uh, I, we could maybe get a little bit more on Spider Silk. Um, blood Moss, not buying any more Blood Moss. So we can ignore that one. Uh, definitely need to buy more Black Pearl. Went through a lot of Mandrake. Might have to go back and get some more of that. Part of the problem was I got I got focused on the Mandrake, and there were a couple of recipes that didn't take Mandrake. They took Nightshade, but I was trying to get them to work um, with Mandrake, and it took far too long for me to realize I was using the wrong ingredient, and I, that was why it didn't work. Okay, so... We're just going to wait for the uh, moon gate to appear. It's going to appear at the half half moon, which would be just a minute. And we want to go on the third destination. To... I can't believe I got it right the first time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go over here to Moon Glow first. We'll do our business in Moon Glow, and then we'll head on up to the Lyceum. All right, so let's enter the town. And I don't remember what else they have here. It has been literally, so we have an inn, the deli. Yeah, I don't remember if food prices were like here. I think they were okay, but they're better in Scarbray. That's true. We're below 200. So I'm actually going to, let's uh, buy some 25 for only 25 gold pieces. So let's buy four. And that will get us to 298 food. And then when we get to Scar Bray, which is a little bit cheaper, we're going to buy a ton because we got so much gold. Um, we're going to buy, you know, at least a couple thousand, I think, uh, just to, to keep us for a while. Especially if we're going to be dungeon crawling soon, we, we're going to need a bunch of food. All right. So that's the healer. We don't need, we don't need that. Magical herbs. Here we go. So we need ginseng. Ginseng is a little bit more expensive here than in Scarbray. So I'm not going to, I'll get that in Scarbray. Garlic is cheaper here. So let's buy a bunch of garlic here. So that is C. Yes, I'm in need of reagents. I need garlic. Uh, six gold pieces. 
right? It's actually, this is actually a lot cheaper in pause, but I'm not going to get the pause right away and I want garlic. So um, let's see. So it's six, six. So if I want to get, how many would I like? Let's get 50. Three inner gold pieces, sure. Okay. Let's see. Spider Soak is three here. It's nine in pause. Um, don't know. That's one of the ones I'm missing from Scarabray. So let's get some here. How many? I got 15 Spider Soak. Let's get. Let's get 20. Yes. Okay, so that gives us... Oh, I did it wrong. I did a Y there. I'm such an idiot. All right, D. How many would I like? I want 20. I will pay 60. Okay, so now I've got 35 spider silk. That's certainly good for going, on, going, going forward with. Black pearl... Scarbray is a, 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 a gold cheaper than that. So it's nine. I'm looking at my prices. It's nine here. It's eight in Scarbray and it's seven in pause. So I'll buy it in Scarbray. So what else? So I'll wait on that. I'm waiting on ginseng. Sulfur's ash is actually cheaper here. This is what uh, both Moonglow and Scarbray have it for two. So I might as well buy that here. So I'll say yes. I want this. I've only got 17, so let's buy another 50. That'll be another 100. I will pay 100. Very good. Anything else? I don't think so. Ginseng and Black Pearl I'm going to get at Scarbray, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Good. Uh, no, that's good. We will have to do some more mixing. Uh, once I get all these, I'll, I'll spend some time on Scarabray. That's Scarabray doing some mixing. I may not do that on cam, but I, I will get it done. Okay, so that's all we need to get done at Moonglow. So now let's head on up to the Lyceum. I think that's where our balloon is. Not that we've ever used that for anything besides our one escape, right? And I don't know that I am interested in using it for anything. Okay, so we have a couple things to do here that we need to figure out. All right, so one thing we've never figured out is what part of the key is the book. Uh, and so I think we'll ask around about that again. I think we tried that once, or though maybe it was Empath Abbey, um, where we were trying to find out for the candle. So let's see if we can find out the part of the key. We need to get the, the word of passage, and we need to ask about the cities. So we're going to do... We're going to do all of that while we're here. Okay, so let's talk. I meet a sleepy guard. Name. I'm guard. Yeah, okay. I don't think that... Yeah, I don't think the guards are going to be giving us any. This is just the welcome guy. Timus. So, this is where the Lyceum. So, what can you tell me about the book? Key. Yeah, I think his job is to welcome, and that's all he can really do. Oh, we got a whole bunch of guys right here. Oh, he moved. Darn you. Book. Key. All right. Um, oh, yeah, I got to talk to you. Book. Key. And this is truth. Truth. The principle. Principle. Meditate. Okay. Meditate for one, two, three minutes. Okay. I knew that. Thank you. But I knew that. All right. A book. Try it without truth. Okay, I think that's the same guy I talked to earlier. I'm a truth seeker. Truth. Principle. Yeah, yeah, book. 
key. All right. What about this mage here in the back corner? Book. Truth. Yeah, they have key. Yep. Oh, he decided he wanted to top talk. I don't care if you're lost in thought. All right. None of these guys are helpful. Um... This is where I found the book. Maybe one of these guys can tell me something. So, book. Key. Truth. Look under T. If I go T. Okay. I don't think you've got anything for me. There's some guy up here. Estro book. Truth. Key. All right, so none of these guys know anything about that. Which is sad. Do you look strange? What's your name? Father Antos. All right, so book. You seek the, where the other books lie. I read the book. Um, key. I mean, I expect to get that from the Lord. Axiom. Yeah, I didn't expect that. Okay, so that's that was what got me. That's the observatory. I guess I could open. I could ask this guy. I think he's just got dialogue about the observatory. Key. Yeah, he doesn't have any anything of, of assistance there. All right. Oop. All right, here is... Key. I'm not going to bother asking about the axiom because I think it's. Let's talk with Rob. I mean, Rob usually doesn't know a whole lot. Word. Okay, so he does know the word. Okay, so he knows about one of three syllables. Why else would you think I, I brought it up, dude? Ver. Seek ye now the other parts. All right. Cities. What the hell? All right. Well, what do you know about the word, Lady Beth? All right. So that's, uh, we got, so we have all three words now. Cor, emo, ver, ver, emo, cor, cor, ver, emo. I don't think it's any word that I'm familiar with, unfortunately. Um, and we have no idea what the cities are. And I don't know what the, what, what's the purpose of giving us a list of the cities are about. Thank you. How about you? Cities, key, nope, all right. How about you? Who are you? Nigel. I think we learned the resurrect spell from him, uh, which I actually should mix up some of those. I don't think I have, but it only uses sulfur ash, ginseng, garlic, spider silk, blood moss. So I'm really surprised it didn't use mandrake or nightshade. Um I mean, it uses a lot of reagents, but they're all kind of the standard ones. I should probably make up four or five of those just in case somebody dies to poisoning or what have you. Uh, you know, especially with having somebody squishy like John there. So that's a good idea. So I don't think he's not going to have anything else because typically they have one piece of information to impart. What's over here? Anything? 
Nobody's there. All right, set. I don't understand how we can go to how we can go to some places. Like we can find out at Serpent's Hole that the bell is the third part of the key, but I seem to be totally incapable of finding at the Abbey or the Lyceum what part of the key are they. I mean, it's obviously I got a 50-50 shot. And likewise, we don't know the order of the syllables. So we've got all three syllables of the word of passage. Let's take a peek at the riddles because I think there was a riddle that had to do with the word of passage. One must know the combination of three principles of virtue. The combination of the three principles of virtue equals the measure of time and space. That's interesting. So the principles are these. I'm wondering if he's obliquely talking about, about um, the three syllables being put together. The combination of the three principles of virtue is equal to the measure of time and space. We definitely need to get back into Cove because I think there was somebody... One to three, combining eight ways, love alone is compassion. That was in Grove, in the Empath Abbey. Just says the word of passage. And know the pure axiom. I don't know that yet. So that's why I, I got to go back to Cove. All right. Well, you know, that's probably a thought process for another day. I think we got what we're going to get here. Um, so let's actually get back. We probably got to kill some skellies. You know what? Let's just for chucks. Let's cast one of our tremors. This is a fairly decent sized group. I know they're only skellies. We don't need to do this, but just to kind of test it out. Let's cast tremor. Oh, nice. So we killed about half the group. I wonder if the rest have taken damage. Interesting. All right. Well, let's go up and finish them off. Um, let's see. So that's Shamino. I'm going to move Jana over. Yep. That'll work. I mean, these are kind of one hits anyway with our mystic swords. Okay. So they are, some of them are fleeing. We lost two there, I think. I think there were four skellies. So I think two of these guys are like, I'm out of here. So. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That might be, you know, that might be, I probably should have saved it for like demons or something, but you know, whatever. Um, I don't remember how expensive that was to, uh, to mix, but I just kind of wanted to see what it was like. What better way to end? Get up there. Well, if you're going to keep missing, I guess I'll come over here. Oh, that was stupid. Okay. Okay. Good. 34 gold. Perfect. Oh, I got more people to kill? All right. Come on. Not a super big fan of... of this um, layout here, but it's better than the, the completely rocky one. Okay, so Jana should be able to, I uh, should have had them go over. All right, well, this works out pretty good since they're stacked up on us. Eh. Oh, good. There we go. The other one like that, I think she's got her, um, her level. Of course, I'm not quite sure when we're going to get a chance to visit Lord British again. Have 
badly wounded. Good. Still heavily wounded. Critical. All right, that guy's out of here. I'm just gonna leave you guys kind of standing there. Okay, that's what I want to do. I want to engage that guy off to the left, but you guys are done. I really kind of want to let Janet kill this guy, but yeah, the one time Iolo doesn't miss. 25 gold. All right. Not bad. We're getting some of the gold back that we uh, spent. Oh, looky. Demon demons. Uh, so, where am I going here? I need to get back to Yalo. And that's where our ship is. Moon glow. It's going to be the third, first, second, third. And here we are in Yalem. All right. I think this is a good place to uh, stop for this episode. Um, so I will be back with another one soon. We're going to head up to Scar Bray and finish our shopping. And then we're going to see what we can find out about the cities, if anything at um, Empath Abbey. I, I, I guess I'm not super duper hopeful after uh, the events of this one, but we'll see what we can find out. And I might look for the parts of the key again, even though I think I've already done it there like three times or two times, multiple times, but we'll try. Maybe I'll find something I missed. But uh, I'll be back soon with another episode, and, and I hope you come back. And until then, be seeing you.